Hi everyone, welcome to Daily K Bailey. I'm Kay, and it's Tuesday, March 23rd. Glad to have you with me. Today I'm going to talk to you about the five day pouch test and share with you some common mistakes that if um, you're thinking about doing the five day pouch test, hopefully you can avoid these and make the five day pouch test a really great experience for yourself. As you may know, the 5-Day Pouch Test is a back-to-basics program that I wrote in 2007 to help us get back on track if we're in a, <clears throat> a processed carbohydrate eating cycle or an out-of-control eating cycle after we've had weight loss surgery to control our obesity. And it's just a 5-day program to get back on track and then rediscover the rules that made us successful with our weight loss surgery in the first place. Now the first mistake I hope you will avoid is doing what I call the tweak. And a lot of times I hear from people and say, they will say, I really won't do the five day pouch test, but I'm thinking about maybe doing liquids for three days and then soft proteins for four days and then maybe another few days of this or that. And I'm thinking, well, you're not gonna be doing the five day pouch test, then you're doing something else. It's five days for a reason. Two days of liquids, one day of soft protein, one day of firm protein, one day of solid protein. This effectively resets your metabolism so that you're in a high metabolic burn. You are, by the end of the five days, your body is processing the food that you give it in a high state of metabolic burn. You have broken your carbohydrate cycle and you are back to what you were doing when you first had your weight loss surgery in the first weeks and months and you were effectively losing weight. Five days is all it takes. You don't need to change that time frame at all. More is not better and it doesn't serve any purpose other than to frustrate you. Do it for five days. Do it as written. I didn't just sit down and write it on a napkin and give it to you guys and say here you go the five day pouch test was done with a lot of research, a lot of study, a lot of trial and error. In fact, it, it started out as 14 days before I had ever got to you. And so, um, it, it's been tested and tried. Don't mess with it. Five days works. And the next mistake people make is, if um, I'm going to do the five day pouch test, I'm going to restrict calories too. And they think that by restricting calories, they will lose more weight. That's not necessarily true. The soups that I offer, the recipes, are higher in fat than you would probably normally eat in your diet. And the reason for that is when we're coming off of a, a carbohydrate addiction, and by that I mean if we're eating the crackers and the coffee and, and the sweets or whatever carbohydrate has become your demon, when we're trying to break that cycle, in order to feel satiated, we need to give our body a certain amount of fat. And so if you eat the pumpkin sausage soup or some of the soups with the, the lentils or the ham and cheese soup, that's a, a very good example, it's going to be higher in fat so that you feel that satiation in your stomach and you're not 20 minutes after a meal saying, my God, I've got to get something to eat. You feel comfortable and you feel full you are going to have a higher amount of calories on the two liquid days when you're eating the soup. That's just a fact. Don't restrict calories. If you're hungry, eat something that's on the menu. You should not suffer during the five-day pouch test. As the rules are written for the program, if you're hungry, you eat. You just eat what's specified on the list. Don't restrict calories. Okay, that's the ne next mistake to avoid. Um, pursuing perfection. That's another thing that I want you to avoid on the five-day pouch test. I have never done the five-day pouch test perfectly. Nobody that I know has ever done it perfectly. And if you goof up, if, if something jumps in your mouth and you, it gets away from you, it's okay. I forgive you. I forgive you. Forgive yourself. Let it go. These things happen. If you mess up a day, go on to the next day. If you mess up day three, do day four the following day. Do fi day five the next day. It's not about perfection. It's about getting a grasp of what you're doing. It's about having a plan for five days, doing your damned best to get it right, accepting those little goofs. You know, we're all people. That happens. Accept it. Move on. Do the best you can. Don't pursue perfection. Pursue your best. My goodness, that's all you ask of your kids. 
that's all you should you should ask of yourself. So that's the third thing to um, avoid: per, the pursuit of perfection. Just do your best. The number four thing to avoid: do not single-mindedly focus on the scale. Five-day pouch test isn't about losing weight. Bonus: if you do lose weight, but it's not about losing weight. Um, it's about remembering the four rules. What are they? Protein first, lots of water, no stacking, and daily exercise. It's about remembering your liquid restrictions. Don't drink water before or after your meals and don't drink water with your meals. It's about learning to avoid eating slider foods. It's about remembering those things that we signed on to when we had our weight loss surgery. These are the things that are going to make the weight loss surgery work for us and we're going to do to work the weight loss surgery. That's what it's about. It's not about losing weight. So if the scale moves, good for you. Bonus. Yay. But if it doesn't move, it's not, it's not a big deal. It's just the way it happens sometimes. Blame it on the phase of the moon. Blame it on the barometric pressure. Anything. But it's not a, you know, it's, it's not a deal breaker, a maker or breaker. If the scale moves, great. If not, it's okay too. You did good. Next, don't this one really upsets me when people, when I find out people are doing this. And when they're telling other people on websites about it, I hate it because it's bad promotion for me. Don't use the five-day pouch test as your Monday through Friday diet and then party on the weekend. And then do the five-day pouch test again. That's a horrible thing to do to your body. Don't do that. Use the five-day pouch test when you're in an emergency situation. Use it like you would the airbag in your car. You're about to crash. And that airbag deploys and it saves your life. That's what this five-day pouch test is. You're about to crash and burn with your weight loss surgery because you're out of control with your eating. This, you deploy this program, it snaps you to and says, hey, here's how you're supposed to be eating it. And doesn't it feel good? Use it that way and then return to your day six, as we call it, in the neighborhood way of life where you're eating protein first, where you're eating complex carbohydrate vegetables, when you're following the four rules. Do that on the weekend and the following week and the following week. Don't use the five-day pouch test as your Monday through Friday diet and then party on the weekend and go back to the diet. It's just a cycle that you had weight loss surgery to get out of. Don't use it like that. And if you do, please don't tell people you're doing it because it's really bad for my reputation. Okay? For me? Thank you. Now, use the five-day pouch test to get back to normal. You can do it. Use your networking connections on Facebook, on the Living After WS neighborhood, on Twitter, in your support groups, in your families. Make it happen. You signed on and you got your guts whacked open. You signed on to this for life and you're feeling good. Might as well keep it going. So I hope you can avoid these mistakes. If you have questions, you know where to find me on the YouTube, on Facebook, Twitter, the neighborhood. I'm out there. Good to see you here. Have a great week, and I'll be talking to you soon. Thank you.